the Beatles. That's it. Heard the Beatles, heard Strawberry Fields, it was over. <laughs> um, probably the first time Ben and I wrote a song together. A uh, good song. <laughs> and then we realized, oh, this might actually be something important and uh, work, and it turned out it did. I have no idea. Um, I'd still be writing songs and playing, but probably looking for the right people to work with still. Um, no. No. <laughs> I, I get excited. I like putting out music into the world, because when it's done, I'm excited and I want people to hear it, so. Uh, only once when our tour manager took our passports to the airport with him, and he had a different flight, and <laughs> we, he almost got on the plane with them, and then we weren't gonna, I was gonna kill him, but we got them back, and we did make it home. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think every show's em emotional in a, in a different way, because depending on the setting and, and the vibe of the audience and how big the venue is and how close the fans are and all that stuff, I think that affects it all, but um, we're pretty in the moment, I think, as a band. 15-year-old self? Uh, well, I was 15 when I wrote Make Me Wanna Die, so I think <laughs> I'd be like pretty psyched that I wrote a song that I can still sing every night and not want to blow my brains out.